And one of the big ones that I think really stops people from really loving lead gen is attachment. Can you tell us what attachment is, why it makes lead gen zero fun, mm -hmm. and how do I release it? I can. So attachment is an exaggerated fear of losing an imaginary benefit. Mm -hmm. And we don't realize that we essentially project this benefit out here, like uh, for a real estate agent, it's like, I really need that that commission. That's usually yeah. once the deal is already in play in some way, right? Mm -hmm. So like if I get the appointment, suddenly I'm attached to the commission. Right. Before I get the appointment, I'm attached to being liked. I'm attached to being wanted. I'm attached to uh, my status. Mm. I'm attached to being appreciated. I, I have all these attachments essentially. Yep. And so then I have this exaggerated fear inside of me that I'm gonna lose the imaginary benefit I don't even have. I don't even have the benefit yet. Yeah. But it's jacking up my system. It's causing me to go into survival because I'm looking out into the future and I'm imagining that I'm gonna lose something that I don't have. And so it takes you out of the present moment, which is no fun. When you're in the present moment, joy, fun, grace, flow, silly, play, when you're not in the present moment, arg, frustrated, worried, doubtful, uncertain, right? There's just different modes yeah. to be in. And so attachment is really, really devastating in terms of loving lead gen again. You and I have worked on releasing many of my attachments yes. in the past. Yes. Can you walk our viewer through the process you would take someone on? I can, but can we role play? Sure. I want to role play. Okay. okay. So we're going to role play this. So uh, let's pretend you have 30 leads okay. that you have not been following up on. Okay. And these are all people that you just got at the open house mm -hmm. that you you had over this weekend. And it's Wednesday. Mm. You just held the open house on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And they all gave you their phone number and their email. And I'm not calling them. And you're not calling them. Congratulations. Welcome to real estate, okay? <laughs> so you're procrastinating. You're not calling them now. I want to take you through a series of questions okay. that create a recontextualization. So mm -hmm. I'll say it in this way. When you learn to recontextualize, essentially what you're doing is you're learning how to shift your framework so that you know that all is well, you trust that all is going to be well, you feel empowered in the situation, sort of regardless of what's happening. So you have these 30 leads that came mm -hmm. in. They all wrote down their information. Yeah. And essentially giving you consent to call them and follow up. And I want you to know that anybody who didn't give you consent didn't write down their stuff. Mm -hmm. What are you afraid of losing? Like, I guess I'm afraid of like looking stupid. Yep. Yeah. So you're projecting out into the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call or text these people. Yeah. And they're going to think what about you? That that I, I'm not that good, that I'm a fraud. That I'm a fraud. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. Yeah. And so how is that fear of loss an exaggeration? Well, I don't really have any idea what they're going to think of me. Um, I like have no idea mm -hmm. what their expectation is. That's right. And I'm just kind of making it up. Yes, you are. As I go along. Yep. Yeah. It's an exaggeration. Yeah. And so what would you lose? Like how will losing this benefit, let's just go here. How will you lose the benefit? How will that actually affect you? Like if you lost the benefit, of them thinking that you are a smart, intelligent, effective real estate agent. How will that actually affect you? you I mean, one out of 30 people. Yeah, like it probably, like they might not list with me, but like one out of 30 people. Exactly. Like very little. Exactly. So let me ask you this. Yeah. If one, two, or three, or five of these people didn't trust you, didn't like you, didn't want to talk to you, thought like, leave me alone, lady. Mm -hmm. If, if, you know, three, four, five of, out of the 30s yeah. say that, could you be at peace with that you then had a chance with the 25, 20 to 25 other people? I think I could. I think you yeah. could too, okay? And so what are you actually committed to? 
I'm committed to doing what I said I was going to do, which is call these people. And would you be willing to lower the bar mm. and make it unbearably easy? How? What is the, as a millennial texter, Mm-hmm. What is the lowest of lowing and showing the bar of teasing or that? Yeah. What is the, what is, how do you lower the bar? I don't normally characterize people, but I thought it would be Yeah, good. no, it's all good. good. And I don't know how many people like a realtor normally texts in a day, but yeah. I feel like five feels doable. Five. Bam. Yes. Five is doable. Okay, great. So we're going to do five today. So that's yeah. the process of releasing attachment. You release attachment by going through those five questions. And when you do that, all of a sudden you're like, <sighs> Okay. Yeah. I, 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 I can text five yeah. people, right? And and you know, like if it's me, I would like create some image in uh, ChatGPT or uh, you know Dolly three, and I would create an image of like me, you know, riding a a house with a rocket on it. You know what I mean? And a, and a sold <laughs> sign. I would just do something super dorky. Yeah. And just make it fun mm-hmm. and playful. Yeah. Carolyn said. Um... So true. Lower the bar. It's interesting. I don't know about anyone watching, but I know for myself, having done quite a bit of personal development in my life, you are the first person to ever present this idea of lowering the bar. Yeah. Most people are like, we'll just do more. We'll just, and then I did that to people as I was mentoring them. And yeah. I was like, oh, you're going to call 10, call 20. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was when you came into my life that I was like, oh, there's a whole contrarian way to do this that actually can feel good. Yeah. It's mind blowing. You don't have to do more. Yeah. It's okay to just do what you're doing now. Uh, I, in, on our Wednesday calls, so like part of our, part of our group, we do uh, like three calls a week. So just in case you miss something, you know, you have something there, right? But uh, on our Wednesday calls, I usually will present an idea and, and like Kristen is like the main champion of this in our group. Like, what if you did the same amount of income this year, but you worked? 50% 50% less. Yeah. And and our members' minds just go like, oh, yeah. what? Like, what does that look like? Right? Mm-hmm. And for you, like, they, you're all about that. Yeah. Like, you're basically like, I want the income, but I want to go to Pilates, and I want to walk the dog on the beach a couple times a day, yeah. and I want to get my spray tan and get my, you know, go, whatever, right? Yeah. All, uh-huh. all, all of your stuff, things. right? Yes. All of your stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and it took, it took a good two or three years of yeah. training in this methodology to get you to a place where you stopped being so wound up and boy, I have to do more. Yeah. Why? Uh, Cause that's what everyone says. I have to do more. It's like, well, why don't you do less? <laughs> why don't you do less and make the same amount? Like do, how much more do you need? Yeah. No, it's so true. I remember the first yeah. time you were like, you're going to take two weeks off. And I was like, what? Yeah. So you're just going to take two weeks off. I don't want you to prospect. I don't want you to do anything. And like my mind could not wrap itself around the concept. It was so disorienting to be like, I'm just going to not do anything for two weeks. Yeah. How's that going to work? Yeah. It was wild. And here we are. Yeah. yeah. Nine years later. Yeah. Nine years later, I never hired anyone else <laughs> after right. that. And you're fully retired. Mm-hmm. You're living on your passive income. You built a huge business that's yeah. making you money. You've invested well to, to make money. I mean, you're living in California. You're living the dream, baby. Yeah. High five. I am. Yep. So if you're loving this and you're ready to start creating some miraculous results for yourself, if you want to give up the grind, if you want to work less, if you want to make more, if you want to make the same amount and just work half as much. Yes. Check out Matthew's new report. Check out his video. It outlines the three key results you can achieve by applying his science-backed proprietary methodology. And the link for it is in the description.